Hello students, welcome to MS classes. So today we will discuss the solution of ICSC 2019 physics paper. So let's start with the section 1. Question 1. The diagram below shows a claw hammer used to remove a nail. First part, to which class of liver does it belong? So that is class 1 liver. Give one more example of the same class of the liver mentioned by you in first part for which the mechanical advantage is greater than 1. So here you can give the example of shears which is used for cutting the thin metal sheets which is having much longer handles as compared to its blades. Second, two bodies A and B have masses in the ratio 5 is to 1 and their kinetic energies are in the ratio 125 is to 9 find the ratio of their velocities now according to question as we know that the kinetic energy is half mv square so kinetic energy for the first body is half ma va square and kinetic energy for the second body is half mb vb square so if we divide both the equation now the kinetic energy for the first and the second body that ratio is 125 by 9 and the ratio of their masses are also given 5 is to 1 and this is va upon vb whole square so if you take the square root you get va upon vb that is square root of 25 by 9 which is 5 by 3 so the ratio of their velocities that is 5 by 3 C part name the physical quantity which is measured in calories that is energy second how is calorie related to the SI unit of that quantity 1 calorie is 4.186 joules which can also be written as 4.2 joules. Define couple. Two equal and opposite parallel forces which is not acting along the same line form a couple. State the SI unit of moment of couple that is Newton meter. Define critical angle. Critical angle is the angle of incidence in the denser medium corresponding to which the angle of refraction becomes 90 degree in the rarer medium. Second, state one important factor which affects the critical angle of a given medium. So that is wavelength which depends on the refractive index of the medium. Question 2, first part, an electromagnetic radiation is used for the photography in fog, identify the radiation that is infrared radiation. Why is this radiation mentioned by you ideal for this purpose? Because they are not much scattered so they can penetrate appreciably through it. First, what is the relation between the refractive index of water with respect to air and the refractive index of air with respect to water? So the relation is, this is reciprocal of the refractive index of air with respect to water. If the refractive index of water with respect to air is 5 by 3, so calculate the refractive index of air with respect to water that will be 3 by 5 followed by this relation. The specific heat capacity of a substance A is 3800 joule per kg per Kelvin and that of a substance B is 400 joule per kg per Kelvin. Which of the two substances is a good conductor of heat? I give a reason for your answer. So here B substance will be having good conductivity because here just only 400 joule energy is required to raise the temperature of 1 kg of water by 1 kelvin whereas for the substance A 3800 joule of energy is required to do so. 
A man playing a flute is able to produce notes of different frequencies. If he closes the holes near his mouth, will the pitch of the note produced increase or decrease? So the note will decrease. Give a reason. Because as he closes more holes, the length of the vibrating air column increases. Hence, the note will decrease. The diagram below shows a light source P embedded in a rectangular glass block A, B, C, D of critical angle 42 degree complete the path of the ray till the emerges out of the block. So here the rectangular block is given and P is the point which is embedded this is the ray making an angle of 42 degree so if we draw the normal this angle would be 48 degree and that would be our angle of incidence because the angle of incidence is the angle made by the incident ray with the normal. Now as the critical angle is given as 42 degree and our angle of incidence is 48 degree which is greater than 42 degree that will follow the total internal reflection making an angle of 48 degree. Now if we draw the normal at this point since this is 90 this is 48 so that would be 42 degree so as the angle of incidence is 42 degree which is equal to the critical angle so that ray will graze the surface of the rectangular glass block question third first if the lens is placed in water instead of air how does it focal length change so that focal length will increase second which lens thick or thin has greater focal length thin lens would have greater focal length because as the focal length increases the thickness decreases so thin lens would have the greater focal length two waves of the same pitch have amplitudes in the ratio 1 is to 3 what will be the ratio of their intensities as we know that intensity is proportional to amplitude square therefore i1 by i2 that would be a1 by a2 whole square now the ratio is given 1 by 3 so the ratio of their intensities would be 1 by 9 what will be the ratio of their frequencies as the two waves they have the same pitch therefore the frequencies remains same because frequencies depends upon pitch so as the two waves have the same pitch therefore they will have the same frequencies how does an increase in the temperature affect the specific resistance of a metal so as you increase the temperature the specific resistance will increase and for semiconductor it will decrease define resonant vibrations Resonance is a special case of the forced vibrations when the frequency of an externally applied periodic force on a body is equal to its natural frequency, the body readily begins to vibrate with an increased amplitude. This phenomenon is known as resonance. The vibrations of large amplitude is resonant vibrations. Which characteristic of sound make it possible to recognize a person by his voice without seeing him? That is pitch. Is it possible for a hydrogen nucleus to emit an alpha particle? Give a reason for your answer. It is not possible. Since a hydrogen nucleus is only a single proton and alpha particle is a helium nucleus containing two protons and two neutrons. A hydrogen nucleus just does not have enough particles to give off alpha particles. Question 4. First part. Calculate the effective resistance across AB. So here 
this is 8 ohm this is 3 ohm as 5 and 4 both are connected in series so 5 plus 4 9 ohm this is 8 now 3 and 9 both are connected in parallel so the net resistance would be 1 by 9 plus 1 by 3 which is 4 by 9 therefore we can write it as 9 by 4 so this is 9 by 4 ohm now 8 and 9 by 4 both are connected in series so net resistance would be 8 plus 9 by 4 which is 41 by 4 ohm so the net resistance is 41 by 4 ohm next state whether the specific heat capacity of a substance remains the same when its state changes from solid to liquid no give an example to support your answer if you take ice the specific heat capacity is 2100 joule per kg per kelvin and if you take water the specific heat capacity is 4180 joule per kg per kelvin so here you can see that the specific heat capacity is different when its state changes from solid to liquid a magnet kept at the center of two coils a and b is moved to and fro as shown in the diagram the two galvanometers shows deflection state with the reason whether x is greater than y or x is less than y so the answer is x is less than y as you can see that here the number of turns is more as compared to the first so as we have the more number of turns means we would have more deflection in the galvanometer. Why is a nuclear fusion reaction called a thermonuclear reaction? Because here you can see that the large amount of heat energy is required to initiate the reaction. So thermal means the heat energy, nuclear means the nuclear fusion. That's why it is called thermonuclear reaction. Complete the reaction. So here this would be 1H1 because if you add the atomic number you get 2 plus 1 3 even here also 2 plus 1 3 and if you check the atomic masses this would be 3 plus 2 5 and 4 plus 1 5 so hence proton would be our answer state two ways to increase the speed of rotation of a DC motor so we can increase either by increasing the strength of current or by increasing the number of turns or by increasing the area or by increasing the magnetic field we'll discuss the section 2 in our next video thank you